You're watching a video by Tick. Who the hell do you think he is? Hey everyone, it's Tick here, and we're going to be playing a very old game, one from my childhood that I only ever played the demo of, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. As I said, I only played the demo of this, so we'll be going into this completely outright, 100% blind. So, let's go. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I have served Cain a millennium. The gift continued to evolve. We became less human and more divine. Look, Cain this looks good for a state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution will follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my Lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. There was only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. Raziel was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. Cast him in. <laughs> Tumbling, burning with the white hot fire, Plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet, I lived. Still looks good for a game made in 1999. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice? is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. 
There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to weave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul weaver, my angel of death. Okay. But this entire bit here was not in the demo, so. Luckily, I still actually, somehow, even though it's been, let's see, 10, 14 years, I still remember most These of the controls. These twist space, laying a path across great spans. Okay. Yes, so like I can see where I am? I don't know. Let's just keep going. This game's also got surprisingly good frame rate for a game made in the 90s. You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You've become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. So wait, am I, like, is that death talking or something like that? Yes. I suppose. They spell jump over if this out. Okay. Your wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. Oh, I'd say that's a legit means of working. Yo, know, considering how he had the frickin' bones ripped out of him. What scabrous wretches are these? You are the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls. Spirits who now shall never find their rest. Consume those actual things, okay. Pretty cool, where's that other one? Go ahead, I can attack while we're on. There we go. Hey, hey, get back here. Get you. Come on, come on. Okay. These 
portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Okay. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Okay. Good to know. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be king of our high blood? Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. Okay, then. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Okay. Okay, whoops. Hold, okay. Hold down. And goodbye. Unfettered from the flesh, Ooh. a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Give me a second. Hey, I said give me a second. Alright, let's go. We're going for a little bit of a push, chill thingy. Okay, fine. Oh, I'm doing horrible right now. Okay, pull you back over here. And why? Yeah, now let's go see what's down here. Oh, 
whatever. Wait, does this hurt me? Okay. I'm immune to sunlight. Good to know. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Okay, let's see, where do I need to go? That looks funny. Okay, whatever. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of frames of animation in this guy's movements. Oops. Problem is the camera. Open sesame. 